So that becomes A. Then how about B? What do you think are the coordinates for B? Uh, how did he come up with 0, 3, 0? I mean, it's on a while of Z plane, so you could set the X as 0. I mean, that I could agree. But <coughs> how about the other two? I mean, some of you have trouble looking through the 3D. I could draw this like this. You have YZ, and you have this. Then this angle is 20, and then the length here is given as 3. So your the length here that's going to be three sine twenty. The length here is going to be three cosine twenty. So <coughs> looking at this, I could say that x was zero, y is three cosine twenty, and then z should be three sine twenty. So that's what you get as the coordinate for point B. <coughs> so this vector here is going to be 20, and A is 3, 0, 4, and B is minus 0, minus 3, cosine 20 and then we have minus 3 sine 20. So that times of i plus this times of j and this times of k. Then this component is 3, this component is negative 3 cosine 20, so that's 2.819. This is 4 minus 3 sine 20, that's 2.974. So its length will be 3 square plus negative 2.8, 1 square, and then you have the 2 nine seven four square and this bottom part here if you go to the numbers comes out to be five point oh seven eight five and if you go to the actual calculations the force vector comes out to be eleven eight one four i negative eleven one o two j plus 11712k. So that's the force vector. <coughs> then we need this one here. So we go with this here. That is 3, i, 0, j, and 4k. So that's the uh, position vector, which means the moment for x is going to be a determinant, and <coughs> first row of that should be coming from ua, which was i, so it's 1, then you have 0 for the j, and 0 for the k. Then the second row comes from the r, so that's 3, 0, 4. Third row comes from the fourth. That's 11, 8, 1, 4, negative 11, 1, 0, 2, and 11, 7, 1, 2. And <coughs> then you're going to find the value of the determinant. So you're going to start with 1, and your product will be this and this. 
and what you get is 4, 11, 1, or 2. And that should be 44, or, or 8, and the dimensions here are pound and feet. Then the actual vector, that means if I'm looking at the vector for this moment, then you have mx times i, and that's 44, 408 times i pound feet. So that's what you get as the moment vector about the x-axis. Incidentally, for this problem, somebody asked you for the moment about, let's say, y-axis. Then all you have to do is, instead of this, you put a 1 here. Because your point you're choosing is O. And O is being origin, so it's going to work for x component, y component, and <coughs> the z component. Okay, I'm going to give you a 